Hello. Um, hi. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, beautiful soup. It's um, it's well used, and um, I'm just gonna for this one. I'm just gonna talk about a really specific one, which is usually when we do beautiful soup, we want a link, and you want to use your URL, you know, to open them up, and uh, you create a soup. Use the beautiful soup method. Once you have soup, you know, you read all the um, HTML information. On this soup and then you try to find out the elements right um, usually um, and I think the only one tool we gonna use is the find all for example um, let's say um, this website and um, you know you want, I want to get these 55 and uh, you know is this element and it's you know it's a tag and there's a bunch of uh, properties in here um, and the way to match this is actually by um, a structure or a library. Okay, you want to put up a library structure down there. That's the key thing. Okay, for example, I just use the find all. You know, uh, this one I use the find all, and we use the tag of a, and the in the tag of a, the property should have a data page number and should be equal to fifty five. You know, why? You know, then I can get this right. Um, and you could, and the other thing is, you could get a point, the text. Oh, sorry about that. Um, you actually need to get the first element, and then text. So they only get the text that's showing up, you know, in this um, HTML uh, elements. Just remember, uh, what I'm gonna emphasize today is is this um, this format okay this library format um, maybe I can put it down here okay just make sure you use this all right all right um, let's say um, previously we use class equals you know page numbers like this one right uh, you can we can actually change this for example, we could, you know, change class to a string and change this to a library structure. And this one, the library structure, and then we can run, right? So, things like that, okay? Okay, I'm going to actually run. So, the class, you just uh, write down the class. You don't even have to need the under case, okay? So, these two are the same thing. Alright, so that's this for today, and we'll see you next time.